Hello, my lovely foodie members. Welcome or welcome back again to my channel. I hope you all are doing perfectly fine. Today, I share with you the smart watering assorted meat and fresh tilapia slimery or crusty recipe. You will love this. So, all you have to do is to sit back and enjoy. So, if today have been your first time on this channel, hello, this is Cooking with Effia. Do wait well to subscribe and be part of this beautiful family. So, now without wasting my time, let's dive right in. I will start by steaming my protein. So, I have some crabs fresh meat moving forward i also go in with some willy and i'll seasoning my meat very well use any seasoning of your choice and don't worry i'm going to be listing everything in the description box for you to check it out i'll go in with a little bit of water i'll cover and allow it to cook until the meat is nice and very soft and so whilst that is going on we also want to go ahead and start by cooking uh, okra i've chopped it off camera okay and i'm also going to be using jute leaves or ayu leaves for this recipe and also some contemporary leaves or cocoyam leaves you can omit one of the leaves if you don't want to use both okay so next i'll go in with some blended okra as well which will help the okra stew really draw very well I'll go in with a little bit of water. I'll stir everything together and I'll also go in with some chopped onions as well. I'll cover it halfway and allow it to cook until it's nice and ready. And since I'm not going to go in with any baking soda, the jute leaves and the blended okra is going to do the magic for me today. Okay, so now let's cover it and allow it to cook. Whilst we're cooking the okra as well, we also want to go ahead and seasoning our tilapia. I've already cleaned it off camera so everything is looking all fresh. And so all that is left is for me to seasoning it with any seasoning that I want. And as I said, I'm going to be listing everything in the description box for you to check it out. I will massage all the seasonings to the fish very well and I'll keep it in the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes. Fish doesn't take a lot of time to marinate so approximately 30 minutes should be okay so now let's massage it and keep it in the refrigerator and so whilst that is going on let me also use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new foodie members right here you guys are amazing thank you so much for liking my videos also sharing and commenting on my videos fam i am very grateful thank you so much for doing that all right so we are back to check on uh protein and as you can see it's doing all good and just perfect so i'll give it a good mix and i'll go in with my tilapia it is all done as well so i'll go in with it and i'll cover and allow it to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes on low medium heat whilst that is going on let's go ahead and check on our okra as well and as you can see it looks very slimy and that's how i want it so the okra is also ready i will set it aside and allow it to cool down a little bit remember not to cover this whilst it's cooling down because we don't want to lose the sliminess of this okra okay so now let's go back to check on our proteins and this is how it looks like it looks just perfect and at this point i just love the sweet aroma that is coming out from it it smells really really good <laughs> so it's ready i'm going to set this aside and i'll start with the stew so to a heated pot i'll go in with some palm oil i'll allow the palm oil to melt very well and afterwards i'll go in with some cured fish or momone to give the 
oil extra flavor you can omit this process if you don't have or you can just use your chopped onions and here you are good to go okay so moving forward i also go in with some chopped onions as well i'll stir very well and allow it to fry on low medium heat for about two to three minutes and whilst that is done i'll go ahead and go in with some tomato paste you can as well omit the tomato paste and use just fresh tomatoes for this recipe okay so now let's mix everything well and afterwards i'll go in with some powdered pepper i'll stir everything together i'll cover and allow it to cook until it's nice and ready Whilst that is going on, if you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, what are you waiting for? Can you give this video a thumbs up? Also, share this video to your lovely friends and family for them also to enjoy this amazing recipe as well. Also, don't forget as well to subscribe to the channel because it is absolutely free. Thank you so much for doing that. Alright, so I added a little bit of garlic ginger paste to it which will definitely add extra taste to the okra stew as well you can omit it if you don't want it so moving forward i'll go in with my proteins alongside with the stock i'll give it a good mix and i'll also go in with some seasoning i'll add some stew seasoning powder and a little bit of salt to taste feel free to go in with any other seasonings of your choice all right so now let's stir everything together cover it and allow it to cook on low medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes until the stock thickens up a little bit all right so after extra five minutes we are back to check on the stew and we need to make sure to give it a good mix cover it once more for about five to ten minutes and it should be ready if you haven't turned on the post notification bell at this point baby what are you waiting for do well to turn it on so that anytime i upload new videos like this you'll be among the first person to be notified thank you so much for doing that all right so the sauce is ready i'll go in with my okra and afterwards i'll also add in my fresh tilapia and when the fish goes in like this then you know the okra stew is ready <laughs> so now you just have to give this a gentle step yes just be gentle because we really want to enjoy our tilapia very well okay <laughs> and afterwards all that is left is for us to serve ourselves with some soft banku some abitie or any other thing that you can enjoy this okra stew with and also let me know in the comment section what you think about this okra stew recipe and i'll be glad to read all your beautiful comments down below thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoyed to this point that means you are always a proud foodie member do wait to subscribe to my channel also turn on the post notification bell and be part of this beautiful family Thank you so much and kindly stay blessed. Bye.